Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in Verona, Italy giving you the top 10 things you should do see a bit of information about Verona. One of the prettiest towns of Veneto, one of the top 10 places you want to come check out when you do come to northern Italy. Very nice place. Now, first thing you want to check out when you get here is everyone knows Verona from Romeo and Juliet and they have Juliet's balcony. You can go there and well, rub Juliet in an inappropriate way, go see her house, stand on the balcony, write your love letter on the walls, which you shouldn't do because actually technically it's illegal, but people do it anyway. So that's the first thing you want to check out, Juliet's balcony. So there's Juliet's balcony up there. And there's Juliet. So you can see he's been rubbed a little uh, raw over the years. Okay, so here we are at Juliet's balcony. Look at the massive amount of graffiti on literally everything. The second thing you want to check out is the arena behind me. It's still actually, it's a Roman arena from the first century, actually still in use for concerts today, has great acoustics, so if you get a chance to see a show there, definitely worth it to go check out. The third place you should check out when you come here to Verona is Piazza dell'Erba, which is kind of like the main square. Um, when you go there, basically you have the, the beautiful buildings around there. You have a whalebone actually hanging between one of the archways. That's where you're going to get all your souvenirs. That's where our little market is and stuff like that. You know, a nice little fountain, all kinds of stuff. Okay? So here we are in Piazza Lerme. And you can see it was part of the Venetian Republic when you see the lion. You have these amazing work on the buildings. And of course, the main tower here, right up by Piazza di Signori is right through there. And under through, through, through that there you have the whalebone and your shop where you're going to get all your souvenirs when you're here in town. The fourth thing you want to check out and where you're going to get your like family picture is at the Castello Vecchio, the old castle. Okay, you go in there, there's, you know, there's a little museum there inside the castle, but what's really cool is the bridge going over there just looks like you're in, you know, the Middle Ages and has a really, really kind of a cool view. I like the picture there. My wife thinks I look like an idiot doing it, but whatever. Um, that's really kind of a cool place to check out. The fifth thing, what you should eat when you come here. Guys, Verona is famous for horse meat, cavallo. You can eat horse here if you find the right restaurant. Now, I like it. I've had it here in many variations. It is pretty good, but of course, it is horse meat, so you've got to try it. So I'll put a little video of me eating it right now. And there you go, guys. It's polenta with kind of a horse stew, cavallo. Okay? I haven't tried it yet, but I have here a nice little spritz with it. And we'll see how it goes. So I have a little bite for you. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, actually. I recommend it. It's good. Okay, so that's the fifth thing, eating horse. The sixth thing you want to do when you come here is go to Basilica de San Zeno, which is basically, it's, you have the cathedral, which is also on our list. Okay, which is actually number seven. Basilica de San Zeno is actually the nicer of the two places to check out. Um, basically, San Zeno has, it's from the 12th century. Uh, the rose window there is really beautiful to check out, so it's really you know, to go inside. Whereas number seven, the, the cathedral, you want to go see more of the sculptures there, okay? Number eight, you have Piazza di Signori, which has the Renaissance building around it. You can see the tombs or the, uh, the De La Scala family, which is famous here in Verona, which is you know, kind of a nice thing to check out. The ninth thing to do, if you want to have a little hike, you can hike up the hill behind the city on the other side of the river to go to Castel San Pietro. And the views from there are amazing. You can see so much of Verona taken in, see the little beauty of the city from above. And the tenth thing that you actually should know is Verona is very easy to get to. It's on the north-south line, so if you're going from Munich down to Rome, you're going to pass through here. If you're going from Venice to Milan, that train line passes through here too. So you have great connections. Two hours to Milan, two hours to Venice, three hours to Innsbruck, three hours, four hours down to Rome. I mean, it's very, it's very nicely located. Okay? So those are ten things you should do and check out when you come here to Verona, one of the best towns to check out in Italy. If you want to learn more about Verona or learn a little Italian or the Veneto or whatever, come check it out at our website, www.waltersworld.com. Ciao.